The Los Angeles Rams and the Kansas City Chiefs will meet here in Super Bowl 61 to finish off the 2026 NFL season. These two teams have appeared in six of the last eight Super Bowls, but somehow, this will be the first time that they will play each other in one. This will be the Chiefs' sixth Super Bowl appearance at first since Super Bowl 57, which they beat the Eagles in. For the Rams, it is also their sixth time making the Super Bowl. They are the defending Super Bowl champions having defeated the Ravens in Super Bowl 60 just last year. These two teams faced off to end the regular season, and it ended up as an instant classic. The Rams won 40-34 in overtime over the Chiefs. Hopefully this rematch in the Super Bowl is just as exciting. The Rams and Chiefs are number one and two when it comes to points scored per game, so both teams have a high-powered offense. Now the Rams have the clear advantage when you compare their defense to the Chiefs' defense. But Kansas City does have the great equalizer for having a bad defense, and that is having an elite quarterback in Patrick Mahomes who continues to stack great season after great season together. And he is putting together a legendary career. He is very likely going to win another MVP and now he's trying to top off this great season by winning a Super Bowl. He did go off against us back in week 18, throwing for 379 yards and three touchdowns against us. So hopefully here in the rematch, we could do a better job of at least slowing him down. The Kansas City defense, it has some talent on it, but you look at them statistically, they're not very good, ranking towards the bottom in pretty much every statistical category. They're 29th in points per game allowed, 32nd against the pass, and 30th at stopping the run. They gave up 6,491 yards of total offense in the regular season, the most in the NFL. We did have some success against them back in week 18, but just because we did it then doesn't mean we could do it again. We have to go out there and execute on the biggest stage if we want to be back-to-back -back Super Bowl champions. It is time for us to figure out which of these two teams will be winning their fourth ever Super Bowl. The Kansas City Chiefs won the coin toss and want to be on offense to begin Super Bowl 61. You can't really blame them when they have Patrick Mahomes as their quarterback and put together the elite season that they did on offense. It'll be back-to-back -back handoffs to Isaiah Pacheco to get this Kansas City offense started today. He's got a first down, getting brought down by the 40. In the regular season, Pacheco, he had 21 touchdowns on the ground, which led the NFL, and if Kansas City gets near the end zone, I expect him to hand it off to Pacheco. Mahomes looking to throw it for the first time today. He's under pressure, though, and he will not get a throw off in time. He is going to be sacked by Emmett Spearman, who had been out with a torn labrum that he suffered against this same Kansas City team back in Week 18. Mahomes under more pressure from Spearman. He is going to stop right at the line of scrimmage and throw the ball away at the last second. But Kansas City, despite the good start they had to the drive, they will end up putting the ball away. L.A. with their first chance on offense. They begin at their own 27 with a handoff to Antonio Gibson, who had to unfortunately miss the Super Bowl last year, but he has a chance to play in the Super Bowl this year. Rosen on third down, he's gonna be hit as he let it go. He's got Michael Kirkpatrick wide open on the right side, but he couldn't get spun around in time to make the play. It'll be incomplete, and the Rams end up going three and out. Kansas City at their own 31. Here is Charlie Saunders making a tough catch. He took a big hit there from Devin White, but he hung on. Charlie Saunders in week 18 against this LA defense had nine catches, 74 yards, and two touchdowns. And he's gonna make another catch here in traffic. Taking a hit from Jason Taylor the second at the 39 of LA. It is Charlie Saunders again. A third catch for him on this drive alone. And he's down at the 35. Now third and five. Mahomes is gonna hit Isaiah Likely, the ex-Raven. He is gonna throw off Jason Taylor the second and Likely. He's going to make it goal to go for Kansas City's. Out of bounds at the 7. On first and goal, Mahomes wants Charlie Saunders near the end zone, and it's broken up by Lonnie Culliver at the last second. Now second at goal, Mahomes is going to go underneath. It is Romeo Dobbs making the grab, and he is going to be rallied to and brought down at the 2-yard line. Now third down. It is a handoff to Pacheco, and the man who had 21 touchdowns on the ground in the regular season can't get in. The Rams are all over him, and that'll make it fourth and goal at the three. And Kansas City not pulling out any trick plays here. They will kick the field goal, and Bucker makes the kick and gives the Chiefs a 3 to nothing lead. A handoff to Montel Rodriguez, a hero 
of Super Bowl 60 for the Rams. He had three touchdowns, including the game winner. He's got a gain of 10 on his first carry of Super Bowl 61. Now a pass is going to go his way, and he'll make the catch. Montel Rodriguez across midfield. A 19-yard gain for the running back out of SMU. At the 46 of Kansas City, Gibson back in the game. It is a pass underneath, though, to Vernon Hitchens. And he's got a gain of eight. Didn't really expect to see Vernon Hitchens this early in the game, but he is a really good run blocker. And the Rams are going to run here on third and two, getting a first down as Gibson is up to the 31-yard line. A fake to Gibson on first and 10, and Rosen under quick pressure. He's going down way back at the 38. He gets sacked on a blitz by Kendall Williamson. Now second and long. It is Cooper Cup making the grab. He's going to get back near the original line of scrimmage and pick up a couple of extra yards. Third and eight with the first quarter winding down. Rosen under pressure. He's got a man open underneath. It is Antonio Gibson. The Chiefs forgot to cover him, and Gibson is going to get the first down, making his way up to the 13-yard line. Now in the second quarter, it is a handoff to Gibson. He is going to be tackled ahead up to the six-yard line, picking up seven yards on that run. Second down. They go back to Gibson. He is going to be met by a defender in Deshaun Elliott, and Gibson is up to the one-yard line. Goal to go for L.A. here. Rosen. He's going to throw it left side for Cooper Cup. He'll make the catch, and they're going to rule it incomplete. I thought he made the catch and bounce, but I guess not. Now second at goal. Gibson takes the handoff, and he's in. The first touchdown to Super Bowl 61 is made there by Antonio Gibson. And the Rams, who now have a 7-3 lead. The Chiefs will go five wide from their own 25. Mahomes is going to connect with Pacheco. He's going to bounce off of Jordan Fuller. But Kelvin Joseph and Devin Weider, there to stop him shy of a first down. Kansas City, facing third and short, will go with a play action fake, and a man is going to be wide open after that. It's Rasheed Rice. He is spun out of bounds at midfield by Kelvin Joseph. That is a first down for Kansas City, though. Pacheco is going to get away from Jordan Fuller again and pick up seven yards on this run. Third and one. Mahomes looking to throw it here. He's going to go Rasheed Rice's way again. And it'll be another third and short pickup made by Rasheed Rice in Kansas City. Pacheco heading in motion. Mahomes will throw the other way, though, for Romeo Dobbs, who is going to make the catch as Emmett Spearman is shaken up after the play. He had just recovered from a torn Wabram, and now he's going to head back to the locker room holding that same arm. Hopefully he ends up being all right. A quick pass underneath is out of reach for Isaiah Likely and incomplete. So L.A., they end up giving up some yards on this drive and giving up some third down conversions. But they ultimately get the stop and have Kansas City kick at a field goal there on fourth down. A one-point lead for L.A. in the first half as Portis is going to keep it here on a read option. They tried to get a bit tricky there and it just didn't work out. Rosen... After the loss of four, he's going to be sacked by Gregory Evans, and that is a drive killer. And the Rams would end up going three and out. The Chiefs at their own 35. Down by one, here's a deep ball down the middle of the field, caught by Kadarius Toney, and he's immediately touched down, but he's got a big gain. The Chiefs at the 40 of L.A. Here is Charlie Saunders, unable to hang on to a pass. It gets broken up by Jordan Fuller who's been all around the ball so far in this one. A deep ball on the right side, nearly gets picked off by Jordan Fuller. He was right there again and had a chance at the interception, but just didn't end up making the catch. He did at least break the pass up. Here's Kansas City attempting a field goal and nearly got blocked by Eric Armstead, who went through unblocked pretty much, but he didn't block the kick. So Kansas City makes the field goal and now has a two-point lead. A pass on the left side is going to be caught by Owen Fox, the L.A. fullback. As a big pickup, he's up to the 36-yard line. He'll stay in the game on first and 10 from the 36, and he's going to try and help out Monto Rodriguez, who got to the edge, but he steps out of bounds. Could have been a big play, but he picks up only four yards on it. Third and four. Here is Michael Kirkpatrick on the right side, getting away from Nick Bolton. And Kirkpatrick is all the way to the 27 of Kansas City. And with that completion, Josh Rosen is now over 100 yards passing here in the first half. 
Throws it on third and seven. He's going to lob on the left side for Cooper Cup, who will make the catch. And he's up to the 10, and that is going to take us down to the two-minute warning. So L.A. with it. Pretty much goal to go here. Rosen. Left side is a man wide open in Michael Kirkpatrick again. And he's got a touchdown this time. And the Rams have retaken the lead, making it 14-9 here in the first half. Kansas City with all their timeouts in about two minutes to try and get down the field. A pass is nearly intercepted by Gilmore, but it went through his hands. And it got caught by Charlie Saunders, who picked up a good chunk of yardage, but he did get shaken up at the end of the play. We'll see if he's able to return to this one. His backup is going to make a catch down the field, though, in Isaiah Likely. A really good backup tight end to have. And he's to the 38 of L.A. Down to about a minute to go in the half. Mahomes, left side, he's got Isaiah Likely again, making another tough catch. And he's going to put the Chiefs in the red zone. Kansas City with two timeouts remaining. It is Isaiah Likely making another catch on this drive. And he's going to make it goal to go. Kansas City will end up using their second timeout. The Chiefs are trying to take the lead late in the first half. And they will on a tough catch made by Kadarius Toney right at the goal line. Kadarius Toney making a tough catch of all people? Well, he did. And now Kansas City has a two-point lead here in Super Bowl 61. And we will head in half time with the Rams trailing 14-16. to We'll see what happens in the second half. So it was a pretty competitive first half. Neither team was able to pull away. We didn't really do a good job against Patrick Mahomes and the Kansas City tight ends. It didn't matter if it was Isaiah Likely or Charlie Saunders. They both did too well against us. We need to do a better job of covering them in the second half. And also, we need to find a way to get some more pressure on Mahomes because Emmett Spearman, he is the only player that had a sack in the first half for us. And he's out with a dislocated shoulder. On offense, we just kind of have to continue doing what we're doing, but finish drives better. We only got two touchdowns there in the first half and are already facing third and ten here. Rosen hit as he went to go, and he's going to be picked off by Nick Bolton. A disaster of a start to the second half for the Rams. And Kansas City, who already has the lead, will take over in L.A. territory. Patrick Mahomes looking to make this a two-score lead. It's a pass on the left side, caught by Rishi Rice, who got behind Nolan Walker, and he's got an easy touchdown. And Kansas City has extended the lead. A nine-point lead for Kansas City here early in the third quarter. The Rams, after that interception thrown by Josh Rosen on third down, will toss it here to Gibson. He's got a gain of eight. Third and short. A run look here from the L.A. Rams, and they do hand it off to Gibson. He's got the first down, and I expect to see a lot of him and Montel Rodriguez the rest of the way after the run those two have been on here to end the year. The gain is seven that time for Antonio Gibson. Third and three. The Rams are going to go to shotgun here. A fake to Gibson. Rosen. He's going to go down the field for Michael Kirkpatrick, and he didn't even give him a chance. It was way out of reach and incomplete. And the Rams have to buy it away and put their trust in their defense to get a stop here. Pacheco is driven down in the backfield by Byron Young, who is lined up at off-ball linebacker there. Now second and 12. Mahomes left side for Charlie Saunders. He'll make the catch and fall down immediately. He is back out there. Nice to see him back on the field. Holmes on third down, he wants Pacheco in. Sammy Patton is gonna knock it out at the last second. A big play made by the rookie linebacker out of Iowa to end that Kansas City drive. The Rams in danger are going three and out again. Rosen wants Rodriguez and he'll make a tough catch. How about that from the backup running back? So LA at their own 43 here, trying to make it a one score game again. Rodriguez, he is gonna get loose for a second and take it into plus territory, going down eventually there at the 42 of the Chiefs. A quick screen on the right side to Vernon Hitchens, who is probably used to being the blocker on that play, but this time he gets an opportunity to make the catch, and he makes it third and short. Rodriguez up the middle. He's got a huge hole open up for him. He is all the way inside the 10 down to the 5. He couldn't score, but he is going to make it goal to go for L.A., who now has a great opportunity to make it a one-score game. Rodriguez this time on a toss. He's got no blocking, and down he goes back at the eight. Brought down by Wajarius Sneed. Rams have to try and throw it here, it looks like. Rosen lobbing to the end zone for Cooper Cup. It gets deflected away by Deshaun Elliott, and that is going to make it fourth and goal at the eight. Rams are just going to line up for a short field goal here, and Tanner Brown will make the chip shot, and he's going to make this a one-score game again. 
So Kansas City up by six with possession. Here is Isaiah Pacheco. He is the only running back we've really seen Kansas City used today, and he's got a big gain there. From the 41, Pacheco again, and this time he's going nowhere but backwards. Byron Young again was lined up at off-ball linebacker, and he makes another nice play. Holmes on second down. He's trying to buy some time. He's going to be hit by Jordan Forrest, somehow stay on his feet, and he's able to throw the ball away. Nearly a nice sack there by Jordan Fuller, but he just couldn't finish it. Third down. Time for Mahomes on this one. He's going to step up, take off, and slide down wisely. Instead of taking a big hit from Devin White, so Kansas City will end up punting it away. L.A. at their own 15. Here is Cooper Cup making a catch. He's going to bounce around and be brought down with a gain of 10. The Rams are facing third and two to begin the fourth quarter. Rosen is going to pull the read option and keep it himself and surprise the Chiefs defense. And pick up the first down easily. A heads-up play made by Josh Rosen to keep this drive going. Here is Gibson following the pulling guard, Lorenzo Fields, and Gibson. He's going to go down with a first down up at the 47. Rosen all by himself in the backfield here on second and 10. He's going to go underneath and hit Anthony Allen, who is going to be tackled right away. A gain of eight for the speedy receiver out of Navy. The Rams going under center on third and two. Rosen. Quick underneath to O.J. Howard, and he's able to turn up field just in time and pick up the first down, going out of bounds at the 40 of Kansas City. Another fake to Gibson. Rosen, under some pressure, is going to throw to a Zephyr Howard again, and he's going to make a diving catch. What a play from O.J. Howard, the veteran tight end. From the 27 to Kansas City, here's Anthony Allen on a reverse. He's got nowhere to go, and it's going to be a disaster for L.A. A loss is seven. How about we throw that play out of the playbook? From a 34, Rosen back to throw. He's going to go down the field, and Michael Kirkpatrick is open, and he's more than going to make up for that big loss on the reverse. He's all the way to the nine, making it a goal to go. So the Rams just a few yards away from taking the lead in the fourth quarter. Here is Gibson on a swing pass left side. He's spotted out of bounds by Wajiria Sneed at the three-yard line. Rams are going to go to shotgun here. It is a handoff to Gibson, and he's in. He's got his second touchdown of Super Bowl 61, and the Rams have taken a one-point lead here in the fourth quarter. So Patrick Mahomes in Kansas City, down by one, trying to drive down the field and take the lead. It'll be a nice start to their drive. Romeo Dobbs will make a tough catch. Mahomes is going to throw to his left, and it's popped up in the air off the hands of Kadarius Toney. Could have been an interception. But it wasn't. Third and 10 from their own 39. Mahomes facing a blitz. He's going to throw to his left, and he's picked off. It's Addison Caver, a quarterback at the Northwestern, who has had a great start to his career, picks off a big pass in the fourth quarter. Patrick Mahomes, he just threw it right at him, and Caver made the big play, and now the Rams have a chance to increase their lead in the fourth quarter if they can finish off this drive with a score. Hopefully a touchdown, and... In their case, there is Gibson running right into Chris Jones. And maybe picks up a yard as Michael Kirkpatrick is injured. And he's holding his arm, heading back to the locker room. That is a big loss for the Rams. So O.J. Howard, he's now going to have to be the tight end one the rest of the way for the Rams. He's made a few nice plays in the fourth quarter, but he's no Michael Kirkpatrick. A gain of eight on a check down to Antonio Gibson, and it will not pick up a first down. So the Kansas City defense does end up Holding strong, and they'll force Dan around to kick a field goal. The Rams are at least able to extend the lead, but Kansas City can still take the lead with a touchdown. Pressure on Mahomes. He's able to avoid it, and he's going to go underneath to Luke Caldwell, our rookie out of Michigan. And that is a big play to begin this Kansas City drive as Sam Cosme is injured after the play. From their own 44, Mahomes is going to spin to his left. Throw it falling away deep down the field, and he's picked off again. It is Addison Caver again. He is tackled from behind at his own 31. Addison Caver making another big play in the fourth quarter. And it is not one, but two fourth quarter interceptions thrown by Patrick Mahomes. How about Addison Caver, though, picking off two passes in the fourth quarter of Super Bowl 61? And now the Rams have a great chance here to run this one out or at the very least extend their lead beyond the reach of Kansas City. Rodriguez on a and off to him is only going to pick up two yards. So LA and Danger are going three and out and wasting that takeaway. 
Throws in, and he's going to throw to his left. It is caught by Mike Williams. He's going to throw off Ojarius Sneed, and Williams is going to go down at the 39 of Kansas City. A big play by Mike Williams. The first catch of the game made by him. A handoff here to Owen Fox after the big pass play. And the fullback, who had a nice catch earlier in the game, he now has a gain of six on the ground. Rodriguez on a counter. He's got a first down and runs through a defender. And Rodriguez is up to the 17. We are now under three minutes to go in the fourth quarter. It'll be a fake to Rodriguez on first and 10. Rosen looking to throw. He's got a man wide open down the field. It is Keenan Russell, and he's in. Keenan Russell, the third string tight end, is going to score a touchdown. Stepping up here with Michael Kirkpatrick out in the Rams. Have made this a two-score lead in the fourth quarter. So Patrick Mahomes, he is trying to pick up his third Super Bowl victory, and maybe they're not out of it yet. There is Kadarius Tony breaking away for a second, and he's going to put Kansas City into plus territory. They do have all their timeouts in a minute 30 to try and get two scores. There is Isaiah Pacheco. They get a grab, and he's up to the 33. Kansas City in hurry-up mode. We'll see what Patrick Mahomes wants to do here. He's going to go deep left side. It is hung on to by Romeo Dobbs. And he's going to put the Chiefs in the red zone. Now down to a minute to go in the fourth quarter. Ken Mahomes and Kansas City pull off a miracle. He's going to spin to his left. He's hit as he went to go and his sails out of bounds near Isaiah Pacheco. But it's incomplete. Third down from the 19. The Chiefs down by two scores. Here's Mahomes under pressure with nowhere to throw the ball but throw it away. And he'll do just that and that'll make it fourth down. And Kansas City down by two scores. They will just kick the field goal here. And they're going to make it and make this a one-score game. So now they have to try and get an onside kick and get this ball right back. With just 45 seconds to go in the fourth quarter, can they get it back? They cannot get it here on the onside. It is recovered by Mike Williams. And now the Rams have a great chance to run it out. They only need a first down. It'll be a handoff to Rodriguez left side. He is met near the first down marker, trying to fight forward, and he's got it. That is going to do it. For Super Bowl 61, the Rams are going to win 34 to 26, and they are back-to-back -back Super Bowl champions. And for Kansas City, they end up falling just short. How about the LA Rams? They're in the fourth quarter. They end up outscoring the Kansas City Chiefs 17 to 3, with two big fourth quarter interceptions made by Addison Caver, who is going to be your Super Bowl MVP. He rightfully earned that, walking up all game long. Patrick Mahomes just couldn't throw it his way, and if he did, Gaver made him pay. For the Rams, though, it is obviously a big win. You win a Super Bowl for a second straight year, and you have put together a great run. They are 59-17 and 17 overall over the last four seasons, if you include their postseason wins and losses. And Josh Rosen has completely turned his career narrative around, and the Rams are champions once again. With us having won back-to-back -back Super Bowls, you may be wondering what is next for not only this franchise, but the channel. EA's brand new college football game is set to release in mid-July, and I have been waiting a long time for a brand new college football game, as I'm sure a lot of you have been as well. I want to do a dynasty on that game and bring it to this channel, and we will be doing that. But we still have some time between the release of that game and now, so what do we do with that time? We don't have enough time to get through another season like usual in this series. So what we're going to be doing is simming through some seasons and see how the careers of a lot of our players turn out. And hopefully we can have some fun doing that. Hopefully you'll stick around and enjoy that and have some fun with me. If not, hope to see you on the brand new college football series that I'll be bringing to the channel when that comes out. Thanks for watching this one and I'll see you in whatever's next.